Hi, welcome to another episode of Executive Tune-Up, where we make little tweaks that can lead to big improvements in your performance. Do you know someone who always seems to get things that you didn't think were possible until they ask for it and they suddenly get it and you kind of find yourself kicking yourself thinking, why didn't I ask for that? And wishing that you could do better the next time. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to overcome that situation for better results. Hi, it's Joe Kwan, the Connection Counselor, and today we're going to talk about getting the impossible, the thing that you didn't even realize was possible until someone else got it, and then you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I had known that was possible. Maybe I would be the one that has it now. And this can apply in all sorts of situations at work in terms of benefits, raises, promotions, projects. However, I'd like to start with kind of a, a fun kind of meme almost that's on the internet that kind of illustrates uh, some of the basic principles. Now, the first principle is you have to believe that you can actually even get it, right? Without that, you're dead in the water. So that's number one. And the key is once you believe that, you can get a little bit creative in asking for it and how you get there. So this example is um, just kind of a fun, clever, you know, obviously it's not a real example way of uh, demonstrating that. So one day, a father comes to his son and says, I want you to marry a girl of my choice. And what do you think the son said? No, dad, that's, I'm not going to do that. That's not right. I will choose my own bride. And what did the father say? Well, but the girl is Bill Gates' daughter. And the son said, well, in that case, okay. So now the father approaches Bill Gates and says to Bill Gates, I have a husband for your daughter. And Bill Gates says, but uh, I don't think, you know, your, your son is right for my daughter and she doesn't even know him. I think she's going to choose her own husband. And then the father says to Bill Gates, but my son is the youngest vice president at the World Bank. And Bill Gates says, oh, in that case. So then finally the father goes to see the president of the World Bank and says to the World Bank, I have a young man that I want you to make the youngest vice president of the World Bank. And what do you think the head of the World Bank says? Ah, I have so many vice presidents already. I don't even know your son. Has he even graduated from a top program? Why would I make him a vice president? And the father said, um, well, this young man is Bill Gates' stepson. And of course, the World Bank president says, oh, well, if that's the case, right? So it, it's just kind of a, a, a fun way of seeing that, first of all, the father had the belief that he could actually make this happen, rightly or wrongly. Um, and secondly, once he did, he, he came up with a way to get to it um, by asking for things from people and you know, lining all things up. So obviously, this is not a strategy I'm proposing uh, for you to get to, you know, machinate and and make something happen. But it really does illustrate the principles that when you have a belief and you really have the belief, that's the important first step. Then you can come up with creative ways to make that thing happen. And part of that is also asking people for help. And nothing happens if you don't actually have that belief. Now. For a lot of people, this idea of negotiating or asking for things, especially when they seem impossible or even if it's just part of the package, seems intimidating, right? Or too high stakes, right? Imagine the first time going in to your boss's office and saying, I would like a raise, maybe, right? That's not going to work so well. So what I propose is for you to try something in more of a low stakes environment to get the feeling of what it feels like to ask for something that you think is impossible on a on a lower scale uh, and actually see what happens and, and find out that a lot of what you thought was impossible was actually in your head and it is possible and I'll share with you an example that I had from my um, 
for my work cafeteria. So I had recently discovered these concepts and, and read a book about um, asking. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try to ask for more food at the cafeteria. And they, and they had a, an entree with, with a steak and some vegetables. And I said, you know what? You know, they're usually pretty stingy in terms of like, or exact in terms of like how much they give. I'm going to ask for more steak. So I get up there and, you know, the very nice cafeteria server is there. And I say, you know, and, and he's serving me the um, steak inside. And I say, well, can I have a little more? Right. And then he kind of paused and he hesitated. But, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm kind of hungry today. Can I please just have a little more? So what does he do? He gives me some more vegetables. <laughs> I wasn't specific enough. I just asked for more. So now I have more vegetables and now I'm feeling kind of like, oh man, I really messed that up. But I was like, you know what? I'm still here. There isn't a big line. I'm gonna ask for some more steak. So I said, oh, you know, I sorry, sorry, I wasn't clear. I meant could I have a little bit more steak? And again, he paused and he handed over a couple more pieces of steak. So now I had more steak and more vegetables. Now. Not something I do all the time, but it was really, really interesting to overcome that fear and to, just to try it in a low stake situation. If the guy had said, no, you can't have any more, I'm going to get fired or, you know, or just ignored me, then that would have been fine. But it really gave me this kind of insight into that these things are possible and sometimes people are going to say yes, some people are going to say no. But guess what? I never would have gotten any more vegetables or steak if I hadn't asked so next time you are up against uh, a situation where things may be impossible remember number one uh, you have to have the belief that it is possible and then two and then you can come up with creative situations and asks to help that become a reality and three i would recommend practicing this in a low stakes sort of situation before uh, you know, you, you, you pull it out in a high stakes situation and you don't really have the confidence to deliver it um, as well. So thanks for joining Executive Tuna. My name is Joe Kwan, the Connection Counselor. Remember, to be at your best, to do your best, you have to be at your best. So tune in to Tuna. Thank you.